All right. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Interruptions. Today, my guest is a legend in college basketball and sports. He's been the voice of college basketball for over decades. I'm talking no other than a primetime player himself, Mr. Dick Vitale. How you doing? Where's your, where's your, I lost you a little bit on the volume. No, I said, there you hey, go. The, the Zoom stuff really, uh, uh, technology <laughs> drives me nuts. It, 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 trust me, it drives me nuts too. Hey, let me ask you my first question I have for you is what, what kind of season do you think, uh, what kind of basketball season you think we're going to have this year? You know, Otis, I, I think we're going to have one with a lot of complications. I really do. I think there's sites I, I told my wife this yesterday, I got to get prepared that possibly I'll be assigned to go to games. My first game I got is going to be uh, December 1st, Kentucky, Kansas, and Indianapolis. But I could just see myself going to games, getting there, and then the protocols take place where everybody's tested and they're going to find out, hey, we can't play because this team has a player or two that has COVID 19. And we got to be, you know, patient about it, understanding, and realize. We're living in an era now that is a really, really tough era. And I just hope and pray that we can get this under wraps. They said there's a vaccine coming out now. Let's hope and pray that's for real and that works because we got to get this disease under control. Right now it's running rampant. I agree. I agree. Well, with that being said, what you said, that what teams do you believe um, can maneuver through this uh, pandemic and get to the Final Four? You know, Otis, if I had to look at my preseason right now, I would say right now, in my mind, I think uh, preseason, the best team in America will be Gonzaga. I think the Zags are going to be dynamite. I really do. I, I think they've got a deep team, talented team, great freshman coming in, Suggs. Got a good kid inside who's going to be really good through Timmy. And I, uh, and I really believe that Mark Fuse Club's got a chance to win it all. Also, when you look there, Villanova is going to be loaded. Uh, Jay Wright's got a dynamite club. Some right. people pick them Pick an M preseason number one. Then you think about certainly Baylor, they say, is going to be outstanding. Virginia got the kid Hauser. He's a transfer from out of Marquette. They feel he can be an All-American. And I look after that. Kentucky's going to be really getting the news that their big guy, Olivier Czar, is eligible, was given a waiver to play, came from Wake Forest. I mean, he had 34 or 5 against Notre Dame and like 20 rebounds. He had a big game against Duke. This kid can play. And coming to Kentucky, he was exactly what they needed, a post player at 7 foot to go with their great diaper dandies they have. So I, I, I think you know, the Calipari's team will be in there. And then you can never count it out. Teams like Michigan State, certainly Kansas, those are all going to be right up there as well. So I think if we get basketball going, I think right. it would be a great, great year. If we get it, we're – Teams can play. Unfortunately, we would have no fans, but, you know, that's a way of life right now. you got to deal with it, but at least we'll have some TV out there to go watch on the tube. I agree with you. What about uh, who, who do you think uh, could be uh, freshman of the year, uh, 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 the diaper dandies that are coming in? There are so many great diaper dandies. That's the one thing I always look forward to every year, look forward to seeing the new kids, see if they live up to the billing that they've had coming out of the high school ranks. You know, it's really interesting to see that. But uh, saying all that, you know, you look at Kentucky's got some real terrific kids coming in. A kid named Boston, a kid Askew, a kid named Clark. They can all really flat out play. But also, you think about certainly uh, North Carolina, the kid <laughs> Love they got coming in, kill up Love. A right. terrific player, and 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 God, it should be an instant impact player. Uh, North Carolina will be one of the most improved teams in the country from last year. There's no doubt in my mind about that. So I, I think that there's so many guys, but I'm going to tell you, the kid that will probably be the diaper dandy of the year, unfortunately, will not be able to play in the NCAA tournament because wow. I thought the NCAA was wrong in what they did to Oklahoma State. I thought they penalized <laughs> them the right way, uh, making sure that the coach that – committed all the different violations is gone, right. but to penalize the program the way they did, Cade Cunningham, remember that name? Yes, Cade yes. Cunningham, it, he could be a top NBA draft choice. He's a really multi-talented perimeter player. I know exactly what you're talking about. I thought he was going, I thought he might go to Duke, but you know, it didn't happen. So I, so I, I will make sure I'll be on the lookout for him. Uh, who, who do you think will win the, um, 
player of the year? Uh, player of the year, I think right now, uh, the guy that is, is really the favorite by many is Luca Garza, young player from out of Iowa. Right. I think that uh, he had a great year last year. The big guy dominated, and he's got to be the leading candidate. I mean, there'll be some other guys out there, but there's no real names out of there, uh, big names. Uh, I mean, watch Cunningham. He might have that kind of year. But I think Garza right now is the guy that will probably win. And I think the Big Ten's going to be loaded. He's going to face a lot of big-time competition. I was going to be very good, but so are teams on Wisconsin is going to be really good. And, and so is, you know, Michigan State's always good. Michigan's right. going to be much more talented. So it should be a great year in college hoops. You know, Otis, I have a book out. I don't know if you know it or not, The Lost Season. I uh -huh. have a new book. Did you get a chance to get a copy of it? No, I have not. I have not. Oh, wow. When, do me a favor. When, you, when I get done with this, call Howie who handled the thing with you and tell him to make sure that a book is sent to you. The book is called The Lost Season. And the reason I'm going to mention the book here now sure. is in The Lost Season, it's all about what could have been and would have been and should have been had we had a season last year. Wow. You the book, I do a fantasy draw. We have all the matchups. I okay. think with a great guru, a uh, Hall of Fame writer, Dick Weiss, Howie Schwab did all the research. And the book's getting great feel. We're getting great feedback from so many people. And But the big thing with the book, every dollar, if people buy the book, you can go okay. to getfightown.com okay. and get an autographed copy. They can get autographed copies there. Every dollar that I would make from the sale of that book is going for kids battling cancer through the V Foundation. Okay. So you can just tell your fans to go to dickvitale.com and get the lost season. It's all about what could have been. And in the book, we talk about, like, for example, Luca Garza. Could have become a household name. We talk about Opie Toppin. Could have become a household name. Dayton, Dayton could have made yeah. a big noise yes. last year if we had a March Madness. Unfortunately, we didn't have it. Teams like San Diego State, East Tennessee State, they would have had an opportunity. I mean, we know those kids, I hurt, they hurt for those kids because the bottom line is, you know the Kentuckys and the Dukes and them are right. going back year after year. But a lot of those programs, it's tough for them to get back in there. I mean, Dayton last year was terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Yeah, they were special. I, and I will make sure I plug you, uh, your website uh, when I uh, air it. Uh, I'll have the website uh, up and the name of the book up there as well. My uh, yeah, Just make sure they go to dickvitale.com. You know, I will put it on there. Uh, I'll put it on there. My last, my final question for you, because I know you got to go, is who's your final four? Oh, wow. A final four for this coming season? Yeah. yeah it's so really, you know, don't know what's going to happen with the season. But I would say the teams I mentioned earlier, I really like. I mean, I like certainly uh, uh, Villanova. I like Gonzaga. I think Kentucky can get in there. I really do. I think when they get familiar playing with Olivia Czar, I think okay. Kentucky, Kentucky can be in that situation. And I'm going to tell you another team uh, that I really like is Wisconsin. I right. really like the Badgers. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming on and giving us your time. Please stay safe and stay blessed as usual. You're doing a great job. I love you. I grew up on you. I thank you for the opportunity. And I'll reach out to your people for the book and let them know this will air next week. All right, Otis. Do me that favor. Just check with Howie. Make sure he gets your copy of the book so he can see it the whole bit. He'll send one overnight to you. All right, buddy. Thanks a thank lot you. for having me on. Take Have care. a great one. God bless.